Yeah, no doubt. This is going to be a very critical stretch for the Rangers. It starts tonight with John Gray out on the mound here against the first place Cleveland Guardians club. They are 45 and 45. Their lead in the central is a slim half game over the Minnesota Twins. So now switch hitting Jose Ramirez, an all-star. Gray ready with a 3-2, and this one is popped up into shallow right center. Simeon going back to his right is there to make the one-hand grab to get Ramirez for the final out. Tonight's starting pitcher for the Cleveland Guardians, that is Aaron Savali. Makes his 10th start of the season. Just a 3-2 and two record, but his earned run average sparkling at 256. Savali's 3-2, and that is off the plate. Ball four, and Seager is the first base runner of the night. And Seager with a great at bat draws the walk and Nate low to the plate. And he hits this ball sharply down to first, goes off the glove of Naylor, and the flip to first won't be in time. Low beats it out. Rangers have a couple of base runners. And Garcia takes strike three. He got called out first strikeout, and it's out number two. And that'll bring up another young power hitter, Josh Young. A swing and a little weak fly ball to right. Long run to the line and a catch made by Will Brennan and then he went long head first and knee first into a slide. Looks like Will Brennan's okay but dang he hit that sidewall pretty hard. No score after one. Second inning for lefty Naylor who's just been on a tear here. So there's a liner to second caught by Simeon and Naylor robbed of the hit. That's a, a well struck ball for now. Ball almost went through his webbing right there. Two outs here in the top of the second and that brings up Josh Bell. He shoots this one out to left field and a diving effort but trapped out there by Jankowski and that's the first hit of the night for Cleveland. That ball goes by Bell's probably has a triple but a great effort right there holding him to a single. But there's a swing and a miss. Brennan strikes out. First punch out tonight for John Gray. Miles Straw leads off the Cleveland third. No score from Arlington. Right-hander John Gray's pitch swung and banged in the hole. The shortstop of the back end. Seeger long throw not in time. Infield single for Miles Straw. Cleveland's got a runner aboard. That'll bring up catcher Bo Naylor. The pitch swung on and blasted high deep to right way out of here. Deep into the lower deck as Bo Naylor has his second major league home run. A mammoth towering blast to right. And the Guardians have the early 2-0 lead. That was majestic. Rosario gets to second on the sharply hit ground ball. Two down. Here's Josh Naylor. Lined out to second his first time up. Swung on. Ripped to deep right. Down the line it goes. It is gone. The Naylor brothers each with two run home runs. Makes it a 4 nothing Cleveland lead. And that's the first time the Naylor brothers have had home runs together in not only the same game, but the same inning. Big Brother wasn't going to let Little Brother show him up. And Josh Naylor has made it a 4 nothing Cleveland lead. All right, here we go. Bottom of the third inning, Cleveland on top. That ball lined out into left field, drops in base hit. Who almost crossed up. Juan and into second base, Leone. So a double for Tavares to start the third. Yeah, and that's why four runs, nothing. With Texas, though, they're a team that averages better than six runs per game in this ballpark. Center field, strong. Makes the catch, tagging. Tavares going to third. They got him! Oh my goodness, Tavares can't believe it! I think he was stunned to see the ball in Ramirez's glove and tagging him as he slid into the base. What a double play. Guardians up 4-0 as Aaron Savali has another good one going, working with a lead. He goes to work on Nathaniel Lowe. And he hits his ball hard out towards center field. Straw all the way back, and that one is gone! Solo shot for Lowe is 10th of the year, and he gets the Rangers on the board. Oh, what a way to start the second half. First at bat, he rips that line drive base hit, and this one is just crunched out there to center field. So an infield single, and now Josh Young will step in. In the air, right field. Brennan going back, still going back. Leaps up at the wall and makes a great catch. And Garcia, I believe he went back and tagged up at first base and got to second. 
That ball just kept carrying. I thought it was going to be an easy fly ball. It just kept carrying him. Brennan stayed with it. Bangs up against the wall. Takes those extra bases away from Josh Young. And Adolis Garcia now at third base. And the batter is Travis Jankowski. Jankowski lines it center field. That gets down. Base hit. Garcia scores. So a two-out RBI single by Travis Jankowski. And his fantastic season at the plate continues. It's 4-2. Well, it's a 4-2 game, very much within reach. Eli Morgan takes over as the new pitcher for Cleveland. So the Rangers have men in the corners, one out. Jonah Heim due up, and Guardians leading 4-2, but now the Rangers have the tie-in run on base. Oh, that ball is rifled into right field base hit. That gets a run to the plate. Gets a tying run into scoring position. RBI single by Jonah Heim. Back-to-back -back hits with runners in scoring position for the Rangers. Second inning in a row, a leadoff walk on four pitches, and well, you're just inviting disaster. Well, the tying run is on in the seventh. That is tattooed. Deep center field, but Miles Straw can't make the play. Off of his glove. Coming around third with the tying run is Semyon, and he scores. And Corey Seager has tied the game with a double to straightaway center. The Rangers, they've got a chance to take the lead after seven. Men in the corners, nobody out, Garcia the batter. Who goes after this one, it's through, base hit, and that will give the Rangers the lead. Seager in from third, Garcia delivers the go-ahead RBI, it's five to four. Guardians led this game four to nothing. Texas with five unanswered. Now to take the lead. Oh, Santos trying to stop any further damage. Instead, the carnage continues. One run is in. Here comes Garcia. He'll score. A two-run double for Jonah Heim. And he stretches the Rangers lead to seven to four. And there are two outs here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And that brings up Leody Tavares. And he hits this ball hard. Out into right field. That one bangs off the fence. One more run is in. Around third base. Here comes Jankowski. The throw. And they got him. The Rangers may want to look. It's an RBI double for Leone. But the question is, does the inning end or not? No, the Rangers are going to challenge. For the moment, it's an RBI double. It could be a two-run double. We'll wait and see. Let's take a look and see if that left hand gets in there. Uh, no, he got him. The reveal. I don't the think. call on the field. There's no violation on the play. Yeah. The out call is confirmed. The runner is out. Yeah. Texas will lose their challenge. So that does end the inning. But the Rangers played five runs in the seventh. Rangers sent all nine batters to the plate last inning in scoring five runs. And that ball hit well. And out to the bullpen. It's gone. Well, that's seven runs off this Cleveland bullpen tonight. And that is the most by any team this year. Rangers lead by five. And that ball's clubbed high in the air. Deep out to center field. Miles is back. It's gone. Wow. A towering shot by Garcia, number 24 of the year. The Rangers are just unloading right now. Rangers' third home run of the night. This Did ball he? is pounded. That's deep out to right center. It's gone. Holy smokes. Jonas' 13th of the year. And that is 12 unanswered runs. Here in the top of the ninth inning, so Cleveland down to its final out. The batter, Jose Ramirez. Bouncer, third base. Young has it, and this one is over, and a great start to the second half for the Rangers. A 12-4 win over Cleveland.